Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Eddie Altman, your PBIA instructor. Today we're going to go over two great position play routines to practice. Practice these drills and you'll be able to control that cue ball with much greater accuracy. All right, so here we are at the table and here's my layout. I have my cue ball lined up on the first diamond, or I should really say the second diamond. Pockets count as a diamond. So I use the three ring binder markers, or I should say three ring binder enforcements to mark my spot. So I have my cue ball, even with my side pocket, second diamond on the long rail. My object ball is even with my second diamond off my corner pocket. So one diamond, two diamonds, and then it's a half a diamond in. Now I have my eight ball all the way down here frozen to the rail. Now the object of this drill is to get position on the eight ball. So we're at the end of the game and I need to take my shot. To get position on the eight ball. Now that would work great. I could take that shot, sink the eight ball, but I really am trying to get my cue ball within my target zone. So you can see, you know, I laid out this uh, green bullseye. And again, that's my target zone. All right, so let's take another shot. Now I'm going to hit this shot with a half a tip of high right to control my cue ball down the center of the table after it makes contact with my object ball. Let's see if I could get on that target zone. Yep, I'm within the green. So that's the whole object of this drill. And now I got a, such an easy shot on this eight ball to win the game. All right, so let's go ahead and take another shot. And please bear with me if you hear some rumbling in the background. Um, I'm filming this and there's a thunderstorm going on outside and it's pretty severe. So anyway, I'm going to continue with this. So again, I'm just going to show you what happens if I just hit it with a high follow. Now that would be the natural angle. And look, it, I would scratch. So that's why I took that shot originally with a half a tip of high right English. So again, same exact setup. I want to get positioned down here. So I'm going to go a half a tip, high right. I hit that one a little bit too hard, but you can see I came straight back. All right, so let's go ahead and take another shot. Half a tip, high right, medium speed. And that's going to put me right in my target zone. Now that's the ultimate, and that's what I'm really trying. Control that cue ball within inches of where I want to be. The better you could get with your cue ball accuracy, the easier each shot will become. So let's move on to the next shot. All right, now this is shot number two for position play. Now, my object ball is in the same spot. My cue ball, I move down one diamond. So now, from my far corner pocket, I'm one, two, three, four diamonds over and one diamond in to the short rail for my cue ball. My eight ball is frozen on the rail now at the opposite corner pocket. And as you can see, there's my big target zone. So I'm trying to get shape within this zone. Now, if I was just to do a straight follow, it would probably put me out somewhere around here, which is fine. Again, you're still easy shot on the eight ball. So Here's the shot with high follow. And as you can see, it put me right where I was figuring it was going to go. So again, super easy shot. So great position. You'll win the game. Not a problem. But like I said, this drill is for precise position play. So I'm trying to get in my target zone. All right, so now we know what would happen if I was just to hit this with a straight follow shot where it's going to put the cue ball. I'm going to go, I need to re 
change the angle so when the cue ball hits the rail, it's going to come back closer to my target. So again, try a half a tip at a time in that direction. So I want it to go to the right, I'm going to hit it with a half a tip, a high right. Now that put me right in my target zone. That one actually hit with a lot more right than I wanted to. So let's try that again. High right, half a tip. What's nice with these shots when you're trying for your target zone, you have a very large margin of error. But you've seen after I came, made contact with my object ball, I came off the rail and still brought me within my target zone. But I want to come straight up the table and get in my target zone. Now that looks much better. And that's exactly where I want to be. So you can see just by using a slight amount of English how it redirects that cue ball after contact. Now obviously I wanted to keep it from the middle of the table let's say from here over towards my long rail to make the shot much easier. Now if I would have hit that a little too hard and brought my cue ball up here, then I'm going to have a really difficult shot. So again, the speed that you hit the ball is crucial. Don't always try to overpower it. You want to finesse the ball and that requires just the, just the right touch. So practice that. So obviously now I have really easy shot to win the game. All right, so as you can see from the shots that I took, you can see by using different types of English how to control that cue ball to exactly where you want on the table. Again, most people will take shots and just use center hits, whether it be high, you know, a high center shot, which would be a high follow, a center shot, true center shot, which would be a stun shot, or a low center shot, which really is a draw shot. So again, by applying just a slight amount of English, whether it be left, right, you see how you can control the cue ball. In this previous example, I used um, a half a tip of high right to control the cue ball. So again, practice these and you will increase your accuracy on where you can really put that cue ball on your table. That's the ultimate goal. You control that cue ball, you control the table. If you'd like to, please check out my website, learnbilliards.com. I'll leave a link in the description box below as well. And also, if you're ever in the Orlando, Florida, Daytona Beach area, um, I'm within 30 minutes of either one. You want to look me up, you want to play some pool, give me a call. And if you'd like to take any lessons, again, check out my website. Uh, we do online lessons as well as in-house lessons. So again, thanks for joining me.